Welcome to People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer. My guest today is Gal Almog, Senior Vice President at Paycor. He joined the company when Paycor acquired Telenia, which Gal ran as CEO. We're going to talk about AI and recruiting and where recruiting technology may be headed on this edition of People Tech. Gal, thanks for coming in today. So it's been around three months or so since uh, Paycor acquired Telenia. How's that been going? Uh, better than expected. Usually, you know, when a big company acquires a small company, there's some uh, hiccups along the way and, and challenges, but uh, we, we're very happy moving along very quickly. Paycor is selling our product very successfully, so very satisfied. Yeah, it seems from the outside like um, like the two companies have meshed pretty well. Things seem to be going smoothly. Um, you've got product launch coming up. Yes, Paycor has an ATS that we've integrated with. And in a month or so, when we launch the uh, the integrated product, you know, general availability, uh, you will be able to click on a button from your ATS and have candidate source for that job automatically. And they will be uh, inside your ATS waiting for, for you as a recorder to follow up. So it's a very cool, seamless integration that brings to... Uh, the maximum, the AI capability to source automatically. And, you know, I'm, I'm sort of guessing that the, the your two companies fit very well. Um, you know, Paycor with its capabilities, Telenia with your, your capabilities. Um, has, how has it been merging all of that? Uh, so basically, Paycor... Uh, in his in its uh, previous acquisition, usually swallows the acquire acquired company, so everything uh, goes into the regular uh, pay core uh, process and management and this and that. In our case, uh, they kept the uh, standalone product that uh, Talenia sold to companies with a different ATS. They kept it uh, intact. So we are selling that product on a standalone basis. And uh, we're selling the integrated product to the uh, paper uh, uh, sales force. Okay. Um, I'd like to shift gears a little bit. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk of AI lately, uh, you know, especially in the last couple of months. Can you tell me how does AI fit into your world? Sure. Uh, everything that we do is AI. I think that AI is very loosely used by a lot of companies because it's a cool term, but uh, a lot of it is not AI. And uh, what we are doing with AI is overcome, I would say, three three major challenges. One is the ability to uncover talent that traditional tools are un unable to uncover. Uh, and that is done by, first of all, tapping into a much larger talent pool beyond LinkedIn. We have a 1.5 billion resume database that we refresh uh, for every job with contact information. But also we eliminated keyword search, which has been for many years the, the core of sourcing. People sit by computers, enter keywords, and then sift through profiles on LinkedIn and then connect with them. That has been completely automated, and AI uh, discovers talent just by looking at digital footprint that they have on online, curating profiles, rich profiles from multiple uh, sources for them, and then uh, using the job description to um, to create the initial search. But then we found out that about thirty percent of the requirements are not in the job description; are in the head of the hiring manager or the recruiter. <clears throat> and for that, we've developed a very unique process where the recruiter is asked to rate thumbs up or thumbs down seven profiles. Uh, and that process helps us train the algorithm, the algorithm about what you want and what you do not want. And that completes the search. And then the 
platform would go out to candidates who are graded according to how qualified they are and how likely to change jobs they are, which is AI as well, and reach out to them through multiple uh, channels to bring them to uh, to an interview. So uh, AI is the only way to automate that process. If you look at LinkedIn or Seek Out or Hire Easy, it's a tool. You may search beyond LinkedIn. You may have you know you know upload uh, job description to create the certain things like that. But at the end, it's a tool used by recruiters. We wanted to eliminate the idea of a tool and say, you are in the ATS, we have everything we need to know, we need some feedback from you, 10 minutes. And the next thing you see is you see candidates interested in speaking with you within your ATS. That cannot be done without AI, okay? And if you want to use the tool, then you're going to pay more to acquire an interview. Uh, the the time it will take for recruiters to find those candidates, and there's no no possibility for them to uh, to enter every keyword and then change a keyword and this and that. It's hours and hours and hours, and then when they want to contact candidate, they send a message on LinkedIn. Some people answer, some people do not answer. We've encapsulated all of that into an AI platform that does it all for you and learns from you what you want and what you do not want. And that's true AI. The world's best known investor and Wall Street expert, Warren Buffett, once said, Wall Street is the only place that people ride to in a Rolls Royce to get advice from those who take the subway. Mr. Buffett's quote is remarkably accurate, but how many people would rather receive advice from him than someone simply guessing? Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, your single source for Wall Street knowledge and profitable guidance. Please join me, Todd Schoenberger, and fellow trader Tobin Smith, as well as host Veronica Dudo, for a podcast known to move the needle for investors. Tobin and I are seasoned Wall Street executives with deep investment experience, and we are prepared to share our advice to those who choose to listen. Download Buy, Hold, Sell today on the Evergreen Podcast Network or your favorite podcast channel. How's um, the reaction been uh, among users? It's a, it's a mixed reaction. I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of fear about AI. You know, if I'm a recruiter and I've been uh, using Boolean search for 10 years, then that has been my expertise and claim to fame. I'm uh, apprehensive and even fearful about a machine doing a better job than me in some of those uh, elements of sourcing. So it it is impossible to embrace that kind of technology, but everyone from the first moment it is used, okay? On the other hand, you have users who will never go back to using a LinkedIn because it's so more powerful, so efficient, so effective, especially recruiters who have a lot of open recs that they cannot possibly reach and they fail because it takes so much time to do that. They turn on AI sourcing and they get interviews, double the number of interviews that they used to have. So we use people who are who are willing to embrace and use our technology as change agents within organization. It has a lot to do with the commitment of the manager to say, guys, you know, you're great recruiters, but the whole industry is going into AI. Think about chat GPT and what the implication would be to people who uh, create content. If you don't want to be out of uh, a job, you need to embrace it. And it doesn't replace recruiters. It does a lot of the heavy lifting that recruiters have to do manually and makes them you know, a lot more efficient and smarter. But it takes time for that to embrace uh, throughout the entire organization. And the managers need to, to lead that change. Um, coming back to the product, um, it seems like it's a good time to introduce it, given all that's going on in the market. Um, what do you think? I mean, I think it's a it's a very good time. You know, I was uh, speaking about AI five years ago. Every everyone thought that was uh, not significant, too early, not mature. Uh, now, I think the 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 nice thing about Chat GPT is the fact that people got to uh, try AI themselves 
with their own content, their own messages, their own pictures. And they, you know, tell myself, this is for real. What would be the implications of this on my job, on my life? And now when we talk about using AI for sourcing, within that context, it's a much easier process. Everyone understands they need to embrace it one way or the other. And we plan to use chat GPT within our product as well. So what's your vision for this over the say, say medium and long terms? Where do you want to see this all go? As far as the technology or the market or? Uh, the product or, or product. the technology also, whichever you like. Yes. Yeah, so people are into AI know that it's a never ending process because you need to keep training and training and training the algorithm to do what you want. And we are not only training the algorithm on a pair recorder on a pair company basis, uh, but we are <clears throat> uh, also improving the uh, quality of the candidate that we send. And that will continue. Uh, it is taking us, you know, five and a half years to create something that's really powerful and is working for every type of jobs and, and things like that. So that is something that we will continue to do. Uh, the other thing that we uh, plan to do, and when I talk about improving it, is both the search and the engagement of the candidates, you know, for the avatar to know what message to send, who to send it, what time of the day, what day of the week, and things like that, so we can get response. And you can only imagine how personalized we can get. The uh, job description page will no longer be a text page. Not only it will have more valuable information for you to consider the opportunity, but also there will be a person on video speaking with you, taking you through the process, answering questions to make it a really cool experience. So that is another direction we're taking. But we also want to leverage our uh, technology and data to create additional capabilities uh, to be able to predict what kind of candidates the company should hire based on past experience with different type of uh, candidates, okay? Who stayed longer? Who stayed less? What are the likelihood of these employees to churn? Can we move uh, a person who is working in the company for one position to another and give them a career path that's likely to keep them in the company as opposed to hiring someone from the outside, it's it's a huge thing because the whole recruiting world is, is based on a notion that I have an opening, I'm going to look for someone who's doing exactly the same job in another company, convince them to come over, pay them more money, while I have people with that, you know, with two or three months of training, uh, can do as good if not better job and see that as a promotion. We have this algorithm that can predict what's the next likely career path of a person and offer them and things like that. Uh, Mark, the the opportunities are really huge and I cannot disclose everything, but the whole sourcing experience will be totally different. Thank you very much. It was great to talk with you and I appreciate your time. Thank you. My guest today has been Gal Almog, Senior Vice President of Paycor, and this has been People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. We're a publication of Recruiting Daily. We're also a part of Evergreen Podcast. To see all of their programs, visit www.evergreenpodcasts.com. And to keep up with HR technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Welcome to Don't Retire, Graduate, the podcast that asks you what you want to be when you grow up so you can graduate into retirement with a purpose and a passion, whether you're 25, 85, or any age in between. Gain actionable financial and mindset tips from your favorite authors, 
podcasters, and influencers to help you reach that exciting next chapter. Listen now and start building your path to financial freedom and reframing what retirement can mean to you. This is your host, Eric Brotman, reminding you, don't retire, graduate. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We We out. out.